So I thought I'd make a video first about how you bind your Mini 4 Pro with your latest goggles. Now, I'll be using the goggles Integra. Integra? Oh, God. I'll put it up there because I would never get that, that word right. But the first thing you've got to do first, guys, you've got to make sure your drone has got the latest update. Now, I did a video a couple of weeks ago because what it is, it's got to have the goggle support for it. Because if you don't do that, none of this is going to work. Now, looking at it, it looks a little bit more simpler than when I tried to bind it all together with the Mini 3 Pro. So with the 4 Pro, it looks a little bit simpler. But the first thing, like I said, you've got to make sure your drone has got the latest update. And like I said, it's got goggle support, then that's great. The other thing you've got to do, you've got to update the goggles and the controller. Now, I did have a little bit of a problem because with the goggles, you do get a cable and you can plug it into your DJI Fly app, which, to be honest, I had no problem. And I've done that with the goggles, but the controller, it, it wasn't that simple. So I watched, um, I think it's called Air Photography. I'll just put it up now. Great channel. And if you want, watch his channel because I'll be honest, he, he does a great uh, way of doing it all. But I just thought, I'm just sticking with the Intrigra with the new goggles and the control. I think most people have probably got this for Christmas anyway. But to set it all up, you got it is a bit of a long procedure and it can be frustrating, but it, it, it you get there, guys. <laughs> I've had so many people contact me on the Mini 3 Pro trying to connect it up, but now we're doing a Mini 4 Pro. So like I said, you've got to update this and this. So the best thing I think is if you go on to the DJI and download this one here, which is called the DJI Assistant 2, and make sure, guys, it's called the Consumer Drone Series, because they do do a couple. And if you just download the DJI Assist, obviously it depends on what sort of um, apparatus. I've got a Mac, uh, and they, they do two separate ones. Once you've downloaded it all, that's great. And all we got to do then is with your cable, you just plug it into the device. I'll do it, I'll do it quickly one. Um, so you just plug it in. What I've got to do for it. Obviously, the other thing is you've got to make sure, guys, that you've got... I would have thought you would have had an account because you wouldn't be able to use your Mini 4 Pro anyway, but... Make sure that you've got a DJI account. Just go into it. Okay, so I'm in my account now. What you've got to do, first, you just turn on your controller. I pressed the wrong button, and I? <laughs> so first, turn on the controller. Now, I, I've already updated mine, but it would be this top one. You, you just click on it. And you just go through the procedure. Now, guys, it, you might find it goes through a couple of times. Just let it finish. Once it finishes, you come back out of the assist. So then you know this is fully updated. So I'm just turning that off. Just unplug it there. Just make sure you turn it off. Okay. <laughs> so the next bit is the goggles because what is it with the goggles you've got to make sure that you put it into the mini 4 pro mode because at the moment it's got all the other drones that were on there especially the mini 3 pro but it won't be switched over yet even though you've updated it now you've still got to do the switch so let's turn on the goggles which is underneath. And now what we're gonna use, we're gonna use the top button um, to take us through uh, the menu. And talking through it, <laughs> see if I can get that set up now. You wanna get onto status, yeah? You click on that. And then it will say aircraft remote controller disconnected. So you go up to the top 
one which says switch. You press that. You then got the Mini 4 Pro, which has got a tick on it. You press that. So that's been done. So officially, I'm, I'm already in. So you leave your goggles on. I'm going to put my, my glasses back on because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so you leave, remember, guys, leave the goggles on. We now power up the Mini 4 Pro. And now what we've got to do now is to bind this to your goggles. So what we do now, we actually hold the button, which I believe is this one here. Okay, because you can hear it bleeping away there. And we've got press and hold the Mini 4 Pro button until you heard that sound. So now they're both linked. And to prove it, you're not going to see it, unfortunately. I'm going to have to put on the goggles again just to prove that it's been connected. So I've got a visual. Yeah, so I can see that now. All right, that's good. I'm sorry I can't show you the video feed, but obviously what we still haven't done yet, we haven't done the control yet. So we've got the drone still on, we've got the goggles on, we've got this right procedure, I've got to put my glasses back on. So now we turn on the controller, just power it on. And then what we've got to do now is Keep that button pressed. Right, now you've got that going. Now we've got to do the drone again. Until you hear that click. So now everything is ready. Just let it, it, it will stop in a minute. Right, so controller. The drone and the goggles are all bounded together. They call it bounded for some. I call it binding, but they call it bounded. So I'm just going to check through the goggles again. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Okay. So I'll just turn that around. So now the goggles, uh, what's it got there? All right. So I've got interference, obviously, to do with the computer there. Um, so really, now we're ready to go outside and actually test it all out. Now, obviously, it's a good idea if it's your very first time you bought these guns, these goggles, is to watch all the other videos. I've done a couple because it's going to be the same procedure with the Mini 3 Pro. But um, it's all looking good. I'll just uh, turn it around to the, the man with the goggles. <laughs> so I hope you find that useful. Uh, as always, and we'll see what happens next. Obviously, what you've got to do now is turn everything off uh, and then we go outside.